Hello, friend. Welcome to the Brassy Broadcast. I'm Jen Eads, the head broad in charge, and this episode is an entry from my awkward Brazilian jiu-jitsu journal. If you're new to the podcast, welcome. And you may be wondering, Jen, what is Brazilian jiu-jitsu? And why in the world would you tell us about your experience doing something that you aren't even good at? I mean, don't most folks use podcasts to position themselves as thought leaders and to talk about things that they're actually good at doing? Yes, most do. But I am not most podcasters. I've been doing jujitsu for four years now, and this is about the time of year when I started. I remember it was after I had just turned 47, and I was questioning, what the hell am I doing starting to learn a combat sport at 47? I mean, I decided I didn't want to play volleyball in junior high because it hurt my wrist when I hit the ball. So what made me think jujitsu would be a good idea? If you've never seen jujitsu, it looks a lot like wrestling, except people try to choke you and bend your appendages in directions that they really weren't meant to bend. Little did I know, it would change my life. It would help me love and appreciate my body like never before. And it would teach me that my body was capable of so much more than I ever imagined. That I was capable of so much more than I ever imagined. And it would build my self-confidence. It would also help me recognize some challenges that I was having off the mat that I might not have been aware of before I started training. I had one of those moments of clarity recently when my coach called me out. Picture it. I'm on the mat. I'm rolling with one of the guys that gets me to tap out pretty regularly. And I was tired and I wasn't in a great position, but it was a safe position. And I felt like I had at least a little bit of control because I'm usually the one that's in a bad spot fighting off his attacks. I was okay. I was safe, but I wasn't doing anything to advance my position or create an opportunity to submit him. I was just hanging on. Do you ever feel that way in life? Like you're just settling for where you are because you feel like it's safe or you have a little control. And even though this spot isn't great and it isn't where you want to be, it's safe. You're afraid to make a move because you might end up in a worse spot. One of my favorite quotes from the great philosopher, Louise Sawyer. And before you say, Jen, I've never heard of Louise Sawyer. Who the hell is that? Uh, she's Louise from Thelma and Louise. And at one point during the movie, she looks at Thelma, who's complaining about her loser husband, Daryl. And Louise says, well, you get what you settle for. Now, I'm not saying that Louise made great life choices, but that is solid advice. You really do get what you settle for. I've done this in my life off the mat. I've held on to clients for too long that I knew were no longer a good fit. I've been afraid to raise my rates because what if my clients leave me? What if I end up with nothing? What if I can't pay my bills? Even if I feel like I'm working around the clock and missing out on life, at least I'm okay in this spot. Why is it so much easier to default to thinking about what could go wrong rather than what could go right? I need to work on that. Sometimes we are so focused and busy just hanging on for dear life that we miss opportunities to get ourselves into a better position to go after what it is that we really want. Now, there are times when you need to hang on for a few seconds, catch your breath, get settled. But ultimately, hanging on isn't going to get you what you want. It's just going to hold you back. While I was busy just hanging on during this particular round, I wasn't creating any opportunities for myself. And I wasn't even taking advantage of the safe space that I was in to practice making a move that would get me to what I ultimately wanted. I'm glad my coach asked me what I was doing in that moment. What are you hanging on to that isn't serving you? Is it a job, a client, a relationship? I'm inviting you just to think about letting it go. 
What would happen if you let it go? What could your life look like when you go after what it is that you actually want instead of just settling for what you have? I want to hear about what you want to let go. Message me on Instagram. You'll find me there at Brassy Broad Jen. And if you know someone that is on a mission to live a bold and brassy life, share this podcast with them. And did you know that I have a YouTube channel? I learn more every day about podcasting, making videos, and creating content. And YouTube is where I share what I'm learning about the latest tech and tools and how to create the things. And you'll find me there at Brassy Broad Jen. Thanks for listening. Now get out in the world and do some good.